I've got good news and I've got bad news. The good news is, according to the Environmental Protection Agency's Toxic Release Inventory, which is an annual report they publish about the amount of toxic chemicals released into the environment in the United States each year, between 2011 and 2020, there was a 27% reduction in toxic chemicals released into the environment. That's great news. But before you celebrate too much, the bad news is that means we are down to 3 billion pounds of toxic chemicals being released into the environment. Welcome to Business Reform, where we discuss issues at the intersection of business, health, and the environment. I am John Padfield, and I teach graduate level courses in operations management, supply chain management, and data analytics at Indiana University's Division of Business. However, this YouTube channel and these videos are separate from my work at Indiana University, and the opinions expressed in these videos are my own. If you're like me, the first thought that popped into my head when I read over 3 billion pounds of toxic chemicals were released into the environment in 2020, and that's just in the United States, my first question is, what exactly is considered a toxic chemical? So here's the EPA's definition of a toxic chemical that was included in the Toxic Release Inventory Program. In general, chemicals covered by the TRI program are those that cause cancer or other chronic health effects, significant adverse acute human health effects, or significant adverse environmental effects. If you're wondering exactly what these chemicals are and what industries are releasing them into the environment, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on all notifications so you'll be the first to know when I release new videos, including my upcoming video analyzing where all these chemicals are coming from. Spoiler alert, it will probably surprise you, but I encourage you to post your guesses in the comment section below. In this video, rather than focusing on all 3 billion pounds of toxic chemicals released into the environment, I want to focus on a small subsection of it. I want to focus on the 193 million pounds of toxic chemicals that went directly into lakes and streams in the United States. If you divide the 193 million pounds of toxic chemicals that made it into the surface water in the United States, 193 million pounds of chemicals divided by 332 million people means there's about 9.3 ounces of toxic chemicals in the environment just in the year 2020 for every person living in the United States. But I live in Indiana, and toxic chemicals are not evenly distributed across the country. Unfortunately, and to my surprise, Indiana was the third worst state in the union when it came to toxic chemical releases. Whereas the average person in the United States has 9.3 ounces of toxic chemicals released into the water for them, in Indiana, we had over 14 million pounds of toxic chemicals released. And if you divide that by the population of the state of Indiana, that gives us about 32 ounces a piece of toxic chemicals. If you want to see how many of those 193 million pounds of toxic chemicals went into streams and lakes in your state, you can click the link in the show notes below and do a search for your state. The reason we haven't all dropped dead of water pollution is that city water utilities usually do a decent job of filtering our water. I say usually because there have been some serious exceptions to this general statement, such as Flint, Michigan. But even if you don't live in Flint, Michigan, many cities experience occasional disruptions in water treatment and have to issue boil water advisories from time to time. All water utilities are required by law to regularly test their water quality and make that information available to the public. If you would like to learn more about what's in your city water supply, click the link in the show notes below to see water quality reports for your area as published by the Environmental Protection Agency. Here is the water quality report for my hometown. I downloaded this on June 30th, 2022. I want to call attention to the fact that the report that I downloaded at the end of June 2022 is the 2021 report which makes sense, 2022 isn't over yet. But when you look at the 2021 water quality table of detected compounds, you'll see that the dates that the water was collected and analyzed, those dates are between 2019 and 2021. 
The point is, while all the detected compounds were well within federal guidelines, if something were in violation of those guidelines today, it might be a year or two before it shows up in a report that's available to the public. I also want to stress that the water quality in my hometown meets all federal guidelines for drinking water. But when you look at this report, you'll see that there is still some contamination in the water. It is in a range that the EPA has, de has deemed safe, but I would really strongly prefer to have zero arsenic, barium, and lead in my water rather than what the EPA deems to be a safe level of arsenic, barium, and lead. I describe this channel as being at the intersection of business, health, and the environment. Last week I had the opportunity to travel to Boulder, Colorado and sit down with Joel Stevens, one of the co-founders of a company called Epic Water Filters. This company is one of the companies that I consider to be a corporate role model when it comes to a business that is a successful business that also promotes health and also promotes environmental responsibility. Before I go any further, I want to state this is not a sponsored video. I have been a very happy customer of Epic Water Filters for about the past year, but I am in no way financially connected to the company. However, Joel did give me some filtered water bottles that I am going to be giving away to subscribers to this channel, so watch this video to the end for details about how to have a chance at winning a free filtered water bottle worth $45. Some people are aware of the impurities in their drinking water and they choose to drink bottled water instead of tap water. This is especially true when people are traveling and they don't know anything about the quality of the water in the areas they're visiting or passing through. The problem with drinking bottled water is that all of those one-time use plastic bottles have to go somewhere. Some are recycled, many go to landfills, Still others wind up in rivers and eventually in the ocean where they create even more environmental problems. Epic Water Filters is a business that is making a positive impact on people's health by virtually eliminating a multitude of contaminants in the water that you're drinking, such as lead, arsenic, benzene, PCBs, and many others. You can click the link in the show notes below to see a complete list of what is filtered out by an Epic Water Filter. I first began using Epic Water Filters last year when I began my health journey and started closely paying attention to what I ate and drank. For me personally, I was most concerned about filtering out microplastic and hormones from the water that I was drinking. If you want to see a great video comparing different water filters, I will link a video to Modern Castle's test of 10 different water filters at the end of this video. I have two Epic Water Filter pitchers that I keep in my home. These work great. There's a counter built into the top. Every time that I change the filter, the filter is good for 90 days, and I go through two of these probably twice a day with my family. These filters work great. In addition to having the two in my home, I also have one in my office on campus. But sometimes when I'm traveling, it's not practical to take those with me. I also have an epic water bottle with a filter built in that I can carry with me and fill up if I'm at a hotel, if I'm traveling anywhere, I can fill this up with tap water. The filter is built into the straw mechanism. This gives me the ability to fill up when I'm traveling and always make sure that I have access to clean, safe water to drink. Not only does every water bottle ensure that I have clean water to drink, but each water bottle is good for about 75 gallons of water which is the equivalent of about 550 plastic bottles. So Epic is doing a great job with these products at keeping plastic bottles out of landfills and out of the ocean. I love everything about this company. One of the things that I like is that the everything is made in the United States. Another thing that I like is that all of the packaging is recyclable. This is one of the filters that goes into the water bottles. You just swap that out and when I was at Epic, they even showed me what's coming in the future. Uh, today, when you've gone through about 75 gallons of water, roughly three to four months, you would take this out, and rather than throwing it away, if you look at their website, you'll see that they have a recycle program. Save up four of these as you use them, and then mail those back to the company, and they will send you one free replacement filter. So it gives you a break on purchasing new filters. They will give you one free one for every four that you send back in plus it helps keep these out of the landfills. But I said that they really go out of their way to be friendly to the environment. All of the packaging is recyclable. When I was in their offices in Boulder last week, 
They even showed me a prototype of a new filter they are developing with replaceable filter media to even further reduce the amount of material that needs to be recycled. Because you're able to keep the same filter cartridge and just replace the filter media. I mentioned earlier that Epic Water Filters gave me some filtered water bottles to give away to subscribers. I'm going to be doing a drawing for a free water bottle just like this one. 32 ounce Nalgene bottle with a filter system. I'm going to be giving one away at each of the following milestones when this channel hits 100 subscribers, 200, 300, 400, and 500. So there'll be five bottles given away. To enter the drawing, just like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. You can tell me if you currently drink filtered water today, or maybe you drink bottled water today, or you might want to guess what is the most common chemical among those 3 billion pounds of toxic chemicals released into the environment each year. I will be doing a video breaking this down in the future, but if you'd like to guess what, what chemical is most common or what industry is most responsible for those chemicals, leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.